the Jim Rochelle Podcast. It's time to be encouraged. It's time to believe in yourself. There's a story in the Bible, in the book of John, fourth chapter, about a certain woman. The Bible calls her a Samaritan woman. The story is about her meeting him and them getting into a conversation. And that's when Jesus told her to go get her husband. And she said, I have no husband. And I often thought, why would, why would Jesus say to her, go call somebody who didn't exist? Well, the fact of the matter is that she had been married several times but none of those men had walked in the office of a husband. So in actuality, she was telling the truth when she said, I have no husband. She knew when she went to go get him, to call him, he wasn't gonna come anyway because he didn't honor her. She was out alone in the hot sun. And you understand that during that time, the man would have been the traditional husband who would take care of the household and pay all of the bills. Have you ever known someone who felt like just because they paid the bills that that was enough? This woman was telling the truth, that just because he was there and he was paying the bills did not make him husband material. How many people have you known in your life that had the title of something, but didn't walk in the office? There are times when we have mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, uncles, mentors, that have a title, but they don't live up to that title. They're fraud. So many people that encounter children are frauds, and that's how they're able to traumatize children. They pretend to be one way in public, but in private, there's something different. They're a monster. So who knows if this woman was living with a monster that when she got home, he would traumatize her. Here are affirmations for those African-American women who have experienced trauma. I know the truth and I survived. I know the truth and I survived. I know the truth and I survived. My inner child is free from terror. My inner child is free from terror. My inner child is free from terror. I do not have to hide in shame. I am beautiful. I do not have to hide in shame. I am beautiful. I do not have to hide in shame. I am beautiful. Proof that I am strong is that I'm alive. Proof that I am strong is that I am alive. Proof that I am strong is that I'm alive. Proof that I'm alive is that I thrive. Proof that I'm alive is that I thrive. Proof that I'm alive is that I thrive. Fear does not dominate me. I have courage. Fear does not dominate me. I have courage. Fear does not dominate me. I have courage. It doesn't matter if relatives believe me. The truth makes me free. It doesn't matter if relatives believe me. The truth makes me free. It doesn't matter if relatives believe me. The truth makes me free. I do not have to attend an event where an abuser will be in attendance. I will say no. I do not have to attend an event where an abuser will be in attendance. I will say no. 
I do not have to attend an event where an abuser will be in attendance. I will say no. I have a right to control my environment with peace. I have a right to control my environment with peace. I have a right to control my environment with peace. I will get counseling to heal my emotions. I will get counseling to heal my emotions. I am blessed. I am blessed. Say these affirmations to yourself so that you can remind you just how important and beautiful you are. I'm June Rochelle, and you've been listening to Affirmations for African American Women. Affirmations for African American Women. Affirmations for African American Women. The June Rochelle Podcast.